Snapchat. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about Snapchat. I have recently re-downloaded Snapchat because, again, just kind of getting the workflow and making sure we have something there. Um, there there's a lot more buttons than I remembered <laughs> in this thing. It <laughs> yes. took me a minute to get back into it. And it's been notorious for, like, if you don't know how to get into Snapchat. It, it, before it was nothing. It was just you swipe, swipe a certain way to get features, right? Mm-hmm. And now we actually do have buttons at the bottom here um for for your chats and your and your your snap maps and and uh and, and things like that your 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 stories um let's see what we got here and apparently i'm in spotlight now um and there's i don't know what's they're doing like a christmas dance i don't know what's happening i don't know what's happening right now but <laughs> so christmas dance. what what am i concerned with snapchat like because snapchat to me has always been you send a video to somebody and it disappears how do i get snapchat in front of people that are not my friends not your friends um so you can check you can when you post a snap you can decide like who sees it mm-hmm. and if i don't know what i'm post a snap, i'm taking a photo of myself and your send to options are now you know my story or my story only friends so you have the option of just sending it and putting it in front of your friends or you can send it you know essentially to everybody to be able to see it uh, recent folks. Um, also, the Snap Map. So you could send it to the map, and then folks will be able to see it if they're in the area. I, I like so Snap Maps. I want to talk about that really, really quick because um, you it does you do have to go into the settings and put yourself where you want to show up on the map. Like you, if you don't just want your friends to be able to see you, do that. Um, if you want friends except for certain people, that's another option on there. Like if you have, oh gosh, if, if you know, if we were going out and hanging out and you had that one friend that likes to stalk where you're going and show up randomly, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, maybe you want, don't want them to see where your location is or only certain friends. Like if you only want certain friends to be able to see, uh, that's the one I use more often is the only friends or um, so then I could pick people that I don't mind where they know where I'm at because it's the location is pretty spot on. Yeah. Like when you were on, you know, when you submit a snap. It's very um, like I am I am right at the studio. I'm standing on top of the studio here. Oop, apparently I went went to sleep over here. Um but uh yeah, no, it shows it shows my little animated me like right on top of the studio pretty good here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's it's very very good at like knowing your location. Mm. Uh you can also select a ghost mode where nobody can see where you're at on the snap map, which is all fine. Like this is all fine. If you want more people to discover your content, you're going to have to put more information out there. And mm-hmm. like the same thing with any other social media app is like, you're going to have to be a little bit more comfortable with putting information out there. So, um, so I, is, oh, sorry. I'm sorry. Is this automatically updating as I, as I travel around or is this only posting when I post a snap? Only posting when you post a snap. Okay. Mm-hmm. So if I have it uh, snapped from, or when you're opening snap, I'm sorry, I take that back. When you open Snapchat, it moves your location to your Lay's location. Okay, so it's not—it's not, not, not sitting here uh, automatically tracking me. Hold on, let me check the App Store. <laughs> See what it lists on <laughs> yeah, here, I mean, right? Because we can strange. do that now. Uh, yeah. Yeah. No. So. So. Okay. So that 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 was a big question for me because I wasn't sure what triggered that situation. Yeah. So if you're worried when about you that, mm-hmm, when you open the app and it's not doing the background refresh or anything like that, so uh, that's good. That's good to know. Good enough for you if you're concerned about your privacy while you're doing this. So it's good. So so Snap Map is great for either figuring out you know what your friends are up to. Yay! Look at my friends. I, I enjoy looking at the map and seeing which friends are far away. Mm-hmm. Uh, it also you'll notice different colors on your map, and the red means there's a lot of activity. It's like kind of like red, yellow. You know, there's a different color coordination thing happening here. But red means a lot of activity in a certain area. Mm-hmm. Like you'll see it's it's a little bit darker blue than a green, than a yellow, than a red. Um, but that's telling you there's a lot of snaps in that area. And you can see it's kind of fun sometimes to go and see like what in the world's happening in the Magic Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. kind of obvious. But there's other ones that are in other areas. You know, maybe there's newsworthy areas that things are happening. And you're able to go in and see snaps that are submitted from that area. And it, you can kind of get a bird, you know, like on the ground view of a lot of things that are happening in real time or within like within 24 hours, but pretty much as they're being posted. Yeah. So if you, if, uh, you know, if uh light up night was happening here in Pittsburgh, for instance, it wasn't this year, uh, but 
if, if if that was happening, you could go through see you know see downtown and then click everybody's and see everybody's snaps there. Or if there is um you know some sort of protest happening, you'll see you can go on the map, see where the protest is. You'll see the you know there should be a lot of people snapping from there, obviously you know because everybody's so social media these days. Um, so you'll you'll be able to see like what you know a nice little highlight reel basically of everybody uh, everybody's videos from there. So, which is mm-hmm. kind of a nice thing. That was, a, I know that was something you were really excited about when they uh, uh, first launched it. Yeah, I, I just, I think it's, it's really, really cool to be able to see like what's going on in certain areas from people's perspectives and see what they're taking snaps of and see what's going on. And I, I, I just, I, I, it's interesting. It's kind of probably weirdly stalkerish. I don't know. But <laughs> these, uh, well, but just, some of these, some of these face things are, are really weird now. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. So yeah, when you're taking a photo. Um, it's a huge year for AR on Snapchat, huge year for companies with AR on Snapchat as Sorg is making photos or faces. It's really funny because I get to see his actual face as he's making these faces on the, <laughs> but there was a big year for companies using AR on Snapchat where you could, you know, essentially put maybe your, you know, anything to do with your company as a snap you know, an AR filter and, you know, or a game, you can incorporate certain games depending on how much money you're willing to spend on your um, Snapchat uh, filter. Uh, And anybody can do a Snapchat filter, by the way, Um, Mm -hmm. depending on how I'm looking at these now. I haven't looked at these in a while. These are funny. Uh, Like State Farm has a huge one right now, but um, it turns me into a football. Nice. And kick. And, uh, but you could do a, an AR Snapchat filter uh, for, you know, any size. Like if you want to, you have a big event, you know, coming up next year, or <laughs> maybe if you, you know, it'll do, but you just kind of essentially you select a grid or an area that you want your Snapchat filter to be available in. And people within that area would be able to access that particular Snapchat filter. But like I said, it's just, just willing, how much you're willing to spend. Yeah. Yeah. on your you know to get your filter out there yeah, i think we played and people we, we played with this with uh i think podcamp back in the day with the geofencing and everything and maybe a wrestling mm-hmm. show we did once as well yeah i have a pigeon on my head you can't see it though yeah i know i've seen ones i can't remember if they were on probably on instagram uh, where they would have something pointed at somebody's head and it would follow their head and then but it would pop mm-hmm. up like how they're feeling or something you know uh and they were kind of what kind of potato it. are you oh yeah yeah there you go yeah but you can create things like like you can create basic snap chat filters and submit them mm-hmm. to go into and then you could download certain ones when you're in the app too like if you're you're you know just kind of going through things and you're like oh i really like this one with the cat on my head um <laughs> my cat on my head <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is but what this is what all the power in your pocket is really for mm-hmm put animals on your head and i don't i also want to point out i don't have a new phone i have a i have an iphone 8 plus um it doesn't have face id or anything any of the the new fangled you know cameras or, or irs or anything that that, that you have mm-hmm. on the next uh and above but um but it, and it's still doing this you know it's still able to do this so you know it's just what's different. even recognizing pets yeah oh yeah pet faces oh yeah there's some filters that recognize pet faces which is fun. <laughs> oh yeah, this is fun. This is this is this is what this is for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't I don't I don't think I ever get tired of watching people watch certain shows and putting Snapchat filters on those. And, <laughs> and then they share them to whatever platform. Yeah, I think absolutely. they're really funny. Especially wrestlers when they do that. Mm-hmm. Like, 